feeling romantic. I know I am because, of course, Liz Hurley got married at the weekend. Ah, oh, there they are. Well, I say got married. It's still going on. <laughs> it's endless. It's meant to be your special day, not your special fucking fortnight, is it? <laughs> that way, it's it's got to last longer than the marriage. Do you know what I mean? Oh, it was a great wedding. We were happy then. Uh, <laughs> Now, uh, there's Liz and the husband, Aaron, and uh, now he is worth $750 million. Uh, Liz used to go out with uh, Steve Bing. Yeah, he's worth $900 million. I, I think I've worked out Liz's type. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brown eyes. Uh, <laughs> We can mock. She's dropped 150 million dollars. That's love. <laughs> now, uh, the wedding. The wedding was a star-studded occasion. Uh, Liz Hurley acted surprised when Elton John made a spectacular entrance in a purple helicopter. Imagine that. <sighs> Liz Hurley acting. <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> and stop. It hurts. Uh, <laughs> Also, you would, you'd like to see the helicopter that could get Elton off the ground. The <laughs> <laughs> one was purple. <laughs> The reception, the reception, though, full of A-list celebrities, Elton John, Elle McPherson, Janet Street Porter, to name just two. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the food, the food, according to the Mail on Sunday, was a uh, prawn cocktail, there it is, uh, followed by chicken and then sticky toffee pudding. Oh, have you been to a harvester before? <laughs> Now, uh, I, I wasn't invited. I wasn't invited. That's, I suppose, main... No, don't pity me. <laughs> really don't. Uh, <laughs> no, okay, I, I tend to go to uh, just the gay weddings. You know, like Elton John's, Matt Lucas's, Liza Minnelli and David Guest. Those ones. <laughs> <laughs> and I can sort of actually... No, I can sort of see why I don't get invited, because I don't... I'm very bad at them. I, I, I get overexcited. Um, at Elton John's, I fell asleep at a table in a corridor. No, seriously, I really... I'm just under it. Just under the table. There I was. Um, and then I was at Liza Minnelli's, and uh, it was full of people from Alcoholics Anonymous, clearly. But they'd ordered all that wine. Somebody had to drink it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm sure they couldn't send it back. <laughs> and uh, I drank so much, I thought it was a good idea to go up to Mel C and apologise for making jokes about her being a lesbian. <laughs> didn't go well. <laughs> but now, now, Liz Hurley. What do you get Liz Hurley for a wedding present? Do you know what I mean? Jewellery, clothes, an acting career. It's hard. <laughs> some people, some people now don't have a wedding list. They just ask for money. And I think asking for cash, it seems a step too far. Do you know what I mean? Unless you actually get to fuck the bride. Um, <laughs> yeah, like a Jordan's wedding, you know. Um, <laughs> No, you know I'm joking. We didn't actually have to fuck her. It's just the reception was held in her vagina. <laughs> now, I remember, I remember, because I hit my head in the clitoris on the way in. <laughs> Lovely do. 400 guests and quite a big orchestra. Mmm, rude. <laughs> <sighs> Never see those sweat shoes again. Now, um... But here's a tip, here's a tip. If you don't know what to buy someone for a wedding present, here's a good cost-saving tip, right? Go to the wedding, go to the wedding, what you do is you bring a gift tag, just put love, your name, sign the gift tag, and as you're going in, just throw the gift tag on top of the pile of presents. <laughs> I've done it, and you do get a thank you letter. <laughs> it's just very vague. <laughs> but listen, it's time to get some guests on. Please welcome the star of Fantastic Four, Nick Tuck, it's Julian McMahon! <laughs> that bitch's wedding either. I'm so upset. <laughs> <laughs> when they said, who takes this woman, every man in the room said, I have. <laughs> <laughs> Were you there, Julian McMahon? Absolutely.
Were you really? Were you there? No. <laughs> No, but y listen, stars in lovely gowns, all dressed up. Yes. That's your, that's where you, that's your home. Yes. Because uh, now the, the Oscars, Oscars. This, the, were you doing the red carpet this year? I did the red carpet this year, and uh, it was, you aren't there. You're, no. You're working. Busy. Yeah. Busy. Yes, <laughs> Hi, who are you wearing? Or who the fuck are you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and all the what's this F word business? This is. Called Anybody English can show say it. this? Can, you can, oh, you can say that in English television. English television. I love that. Yeah. Can I just say it a bunch of times? Yeah, go for it. No. Oh, <laughs> sad. It feels wrong to me. Really? What can't you say here? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so don't say it, okay? <laughs> The thing is, I see you on the red carpet, and you seem fearless. But I looked at your website, and there you actually go into the things you'd like to ask people, but you don't have the yeah. nerve. Well, you, you, there are certain rules that you just don't ask people certain things to their face. Okay. <laughs> so some of the stars, you have uh, Brittany. Uh, what, what would you like to ask Brittany? Well, I would love to say... Why not the eyebrows also? I mean, <laughs> you're going for it, bitch. Do it. <laughs> and then, of course, uh, Katie and Tom. Now, what My favorites. <laughs> what, would, what, would you, what would you say to Looks Katie? Looks like you popped out of a can. I shouldn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? This is a bad show for me to be on. <laughs> All, right. All right, Katie, what would you say to Katie? And then the, the, the whole thing about the baby, he's there for the, the birth. And I said, was he there for the conception? I mean, <laughs> anyone was there for the birth. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> no, I remember when they announced she was pregnant, the New York Post had a big headline saying, Mission Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and finally, uh, Penelope Cruz. What would, you, what would you be asking Penelope oh, Cruz? You love her. Every, all the men Everybody love her, her yeah. I think, don't they? It's kind of a mesh outfit, too. It looks like it kind of just goes into one. I'm just looking for the nipples. <laughs> You right. work now. Just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, looking okay. for the nipples now. Uh, <laughs> a job well done. If you want to see mine, you want to see my nipples. Look at my toes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd actually love to see your nipples. Oh, no, you wouldn't. <laughs> she's so beautiful. But I would love to say to her, do you understand yourself? I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but she's kind of cute. Oh, she's gorgeous. She was the yeah. prettiest at the, at the Oscars. You think she was the prettiest? Oh, there was no question about it. Who was the worst dress? Uh, oh, two. Uh, Nicole Kidman. In that long red dress with that white face, she looked like a ketchup bottle. <laughs> uh, like, you know. Which end is up, I guess, that's the question. Uh, she and I, uh, mm. uh, oh, and I love her so, Meryl Streep. Uh, uh, oh, Winona Ryder would not have stolen that dress. It was <laughs> just... <laughs> She looks like a, a, a Chinese lesbian. She just... <laughs> well, why, why was she wearing that outfit? You I just... guess you get to the point where you go, why not? I oh, mean, how yeah. many times has she been? I guess if you know you're not going to win, you knew Helen... And it's the 30th time there, yeah. and you're kind of feeling a little different, and, you know... Yeah. Whack on a necklace. It looks quite heavy, though, that it, re it looks like one of those pensioner alarm things, doesn't <laughs> it? You know, <laughs> Meryl knows help is on its way. <laughs> <laughs> Full, halfway down the red carpet. Yes, it looks heavy, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm falling and I can't get up. <laughs> Talking about wearing the wrong outfit, uh, now it happened, it was all at one point or another. An embarrassing photo from uh, Prime Minister Tony Blair's student days resurfaced this week. Now, uh, that's Tony at Oxford with his pals. Now, some of the papers uh, did some research into the other people in this photo. And the interesting thing is that many of these people in later life turned out to be twats. <laughs> Seriously, who knew? Uh, here's Tony. Here's Tony. And uh, that's a bit of the photo we've seen before. But the new revelation is what he was doing with his hand. Uh, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> is that serious or is this like some kind of doctored up? No, picture? no. I mean, there is a story that what's doctored is that they've taken his cock out. <laughs> <laughs> 
actually slapped. <laughs> <laughs> My mother is watching this program. I like that Julian McMahon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, anyway. uh, uh, now this is the pretty the Oxford. Is that it's, really him? No, it really is him. This Jesus. is this is He looks like Hillary Clinton with all that hair. <laughs> <laughs> This is the, uh, apparently it was the Oxford Archery Club. Uh, now, judging from this man, I think he stood a bit too close to the target. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't go so well. Uh, but now, the weird, the weird thing about this is, I, I, I've never met this. Julian McMahon, your father was an actual prime oh, minister of a country. Uh, yes, he was prime minister of Australia. <laughs> <laughs> and were you like a celebrity kid? You know, not really, just because, firstly, I was a little too young. I was about three or four. Okay. And uh, it was a little bit of a different thing back then. It was the 1970s, and kids were kind of left alone. Whereas today, obviously, things are a little more public than they used to be. So, no. But listen, I feel a bit sorry for Tony because we've Flutter. all done stupid things when, when we're young. And, you know, I suppose our parents try to stop us. Like, for instance, you, how old is your daughter now? Well, this is 34. And do you still try to advise her? Oh, yeah, and she doesn't listen. Yeah. Well, she's 30 and she's single again. We'll talk later. Oh, good. And, uh, <laughs> I say things to her like, you know, marry a transvestite, you'll double your wardrobe. Uh, <laughs> watch Anna Nicole Smith, the smartest white woman in the history of America, to marry that old pig and have him die. <gasps> the li oh, how lucky. Oh, excuse me. No, it was a love match. He was 197. <laughs> yeah, there you are. So remember, you are fearless. <laughs> Well, well, well. Old men nowadays can marry young women because they have uh, Viagra Plus. Yes, thank God. Viagra oh. Plus. <laughs> oh, it's the worst thing in the world. I didn't it. They have these erections for 36 hours now. <laughs> There's poor old dry wives in and out. In and out. They're going to set them on fire. <laughs> slam the door on the damn things and they still don't go down. <laughs> <laughs> I've never, heard, so I've heard. Yeah, I've never taken Viagra yet. Yeah, oh, mm. no, but it's... Uh, oh, well, sex with older people is just pathetic. You know, <laughs> I, mean, I go out with these old men and, and when they orgasm, they call it the nurse's name. I mean, it's <laughs> just... <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> And for a woman, you know, and I like, still like sex, even at this age. One, I like a man on top of me, and two, it's a bone density test. And it's just, <laughs> you get up, nothing's broken. Oh, this is great. <laughs> God bless that calcium, you know. <laughs> it's just tough. Oh. Yeah. Well, listen, uh, I, 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 I'm going to take you away from that for a moment. Oh, anything you want. You know, just, just to remind you uh, at home about uh, our website for the show. And uh, on here, now, one of the things we have uh, in here is our What Are You Up To Tonight? And uh, thank you very much to uh, all the invitations we have received, uh, what you're doing on a Wednesday night. They range from where we've had scout meetings to hockey practice to a man called Corey who asked us to join him in his bedroom for a spot of Crown Green bowling. Uh, Corey, you need to get out. <laughs> Not more, just out. <laughs> uh, but uh, the, one, the one we've chosen for tonight is um, Elliot, and he's from Watford. And uh, what it is, he's invited us along. He sent us an email. Now, you probably won't be interested, but on Wednesday, the 7th of March, I'm actually booked in to have my back waxed. And I was wondering if you might like to come and watch. You're probably thinking, why would I want the show to come and see me going through such indignity? <laughs> but uh, apparently he's been trying to do it for ages. He wants to pluck up the courage. He thinks if we're there, it'll make him go through with it. He also wants a bit of moral support. So, uh, we can go over to Elliot now in uh, the beauty salon. There's oh, Elliot. No. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, my God. He, he has been waiting a while. <laughs> Now, in it's fairness, so Elliot, you are quite hairy, but it's your back that bothers you, yeah? It is, yeah. All right. And what's the name of the lady with you? Paulie. Paulie. Hello, you sadistic bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at his back. I know. <laughs> you shave welcome into it. You, you, can, <laughs> you can see it. OK, oh, Graham, I'm going to apply the wax on. Ah. OK. Oh, Elliot. I'm just going to pull a little bit. I'm guessing you've never had this done before. Never. Oh, look, let's remember Elliot's smiling face. <laughs> I don't think we're going to see it in a minute. Oh, here we go. 
Okay, Pauline. Okay, I'm going to apply the strip on now. Okay, and okay. Pull off against the hair growth. Oh, okay. yeah. 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 Okay, so I'm going to pull now. I'm just going to stretch the skin. Ah. Ah. <laughs> now, Pauline, we don't have much time. Now, okay. <laughs> we, uh, the thing is, Pauline, and, and Elliot, now, now here's the thing. We know that there is a more extreme version of waxing. It, and it was, it's known as the triple crown. Now, before the show, you weren't keen on this idea, the idea of the back sack and crack, were you? <laughs> but now, look, your back's gone well. That didn't hurt that much, did it? It hurt a fair bit. <laughs> but look, you didn't cry or anything. Uh, Joan Rivers is here to cheer you on. Oh, I've, got I've got Julian McMahon from Nip Talk. You can sew your balls on if you rip them off. <laughs> Should Elliot have this back sound rack? Yeah! Go on. Oh, let her. Let her. Go on. Go on, then. He's gay. OK, Pauline, get okay. going. Get going. OK. Uh, what are you going to do first? OK, I'm going to do the sack first, so... I just need you to open the legs slightly so you can stretch the area. <laughs> Straighten for me and pull it towards you. So oh, you oh. need to really stretch the skin. <laughs> Another one, I'm calling voice. Stretch the area. <laughs> so what I'm doing is stretching the top part of the straighten. Okay. And okay, if you can Paulie. stretch a little bit more to make it nice and taut for me. And now do a push up. <laughs> oh, 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 oh dear. Oh, oh, He's oh. got a lot of hair here. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well done, well done. Uh, How are you doing, Elliot? <laughs> can, can, we not, can, can you move on to the to the crack and come back to his sack? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> the worst. All right. Now what Elliot's it, doing now? He needs to stretch his bum cheeks. Okay. Can you really stretch it for me? So it could take me a good couple of hours, I think. So I'm just applying the wax on now. Okay. Elliot, you're brilliant. Let's put you in early. Okay, you need some more, yeah? We're loving you, Elliot. We're loving you. Okay. Okay. We're just, wait, 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 wait. So we're, gonna, we're just gonna we're just gonna do a quick crack and then and then we will cheer you on your way, okay. you very brave man. So okay. I'm just using my right hand, I'm gonna stretch the area. Can you stretch it a little bit more for me? That's for you. I'm going to pull off now. You ready? Yeah. Deep breaths. Oh. <laughs> Pauline? Pauline, how much did you get off? Let's see. Show, show the camera. Where is it? Is it <laughs> I'm not sure it should be green, but... <laughs> That's the two shoe wax. <laughs> uh, Elliot, you are a, a, a king among men. Ladies and gentlemen, Elliot Pauline! So weird. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is this show? Uh, anyway, what do you, you, you do after that? We this talk about your film. This is, <laughs> <laughs> this is worse than my show. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, it, so nip, nip talk on, on the television, yes. but major, well, obviously, a few major. So you've got Fantastic Four. Fantastic Four. Four. Yep. Uh, two. Two. Uh, the uh, Rise of the Silver Surfer. Yes. But uh, yes. March 16th. Yes. You've got a major motion picture with Sandra Bullock. Yes, Premonition. Premonition. Very exciting picture. And I'm, uh, it's a movie about um, a woman played by Sandra Bullock who wakes up one morning and finds out that her husband has been killed in a car crash. And just to put a somber note on things. Uh, um, and then wakes up the next morning and finds out that he's alive. Hooray! Hey! Hey! End of movie. And that's the end of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> you saw my line. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's really a love story, a very sweet love story about two people who just don't like each other. <laughs> <laughs> and the trailer looks really good. Have you seen the trailer? Mm. They're going, yes, we did. Yes, we Come on, everybody. Yeah, yeah, seen yeah. the trailer. Yeah. Okay, here's the clip. Let's okay. have a look. Here's Sandra waking up.
fine. Come on. But uh, Sandra in that scene. Boobs. But Nippies. Don't... Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. It was quite cold <laughs> in that bathroom, wasn't it? It actually, in, in all honesty, it was freezing, yeah. Yeah. But you could tell. Yeah, yeah it was really. Really I was, I'd never seen those before like that. Yes, was... well, I know her very, very well. Have you seen those before? All the time. I absolutely. She just <laughs> walks around, it's cold out. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> And March 15th, when is it, when did it open? March 16th, yes. All right, well, good luck with that. Thank you very much. And is there not going to be another series of Nip Tuck? Absolutely. Um, we finished shooting the fourth season, which I think you guys are in the middle of right now, uh, November, and we pick up again in June. So, not, another two seasons, definitely. All right, Great. and that's on Sky here. She's coming back. You coming back? They the haven't visitors? asked me. Let's not oh, go into asked, it. Trust me. Yeah, yeah. Sons <laughs> of bitches, I'm a little bitter. <laughs> <laughs> Not angry. You know how many people I promised not to sleep with to get the part? Including me, by the way. Which I'm very I, upset about. It's the only one that got away. I Nobody's you. walked off that set without me sleeping with him. Except, except for me. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> my fucking career. If you don't come near me, you got the part. Okay. That is so not true. So that is true. so not true. Well, you have slept together. Absolutely. Oh. I mean, personally, we Keep have. Oh, yeah. Tom's no. look in the window and pull down the shade. <laughs> My, my wedding night, my husband put the do not disturb sign on his penis. I mean, it was just... <laughs> Hasn't been easy. But now, the thing is, you're both sort of associated with plastic surgery, I guess. Not me. Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Silly me. I really look down, but I can't. <laughs> I... <laughs> But because you, isn't that thing, because you play a doctor, then people believe it's true. So yes. they'll come up and, uh, do they, what do they do? They come up and say, is it time? Should I, what should I do? Or do they ask you to, you know? You know, because of the, it's kind of an extraordinary show. And obviously all these people I get to sleep with and all that kind of stuff. And he's kind of a nymphomaniac type doctor. You get d many different types of propositions, including, would you like to sleep with my wife? Would you give her a boob job at the same time? Uh, at a table of women who are all, you know, I was out to dinner one night and they asked me to come over and say hello and said, what could, what could be done to her, my friend here, you know, so it just depends on, you know, but they're a pretty randy bunch of people out there. I tell you, when you open Pandora's box, it really kind of opens up the opportunity for people to do what they want. Wow, that sounds brilliant. But people they are... lie. <laughs> <laughs> they, they all lie. I mean, these women come down the red carpet and first of all, they're very thin, they all smell of vomit, so we already, uh, they don't, I don't <laughs> I won't shake their right hands, because, you know, ah. <laughs> And then everyone does Botox. That's Everybody, the new diet. Yeah. They just shoot on, they can't open their mouth, so they lose weight. <laughs> they like a child. I love it, child. I can't get the damn thing out of my mouth. I love it. Or they're smiling like this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Your mother... Uh, no eyebrows movie. I remember the first time a friend of mine came over and he got his thing some. God, he's very still up here. I don't know what he's... It's amazing how he does that. And he's like, I just got shots in the head. Oh, Lord, what you're talking about. I think that's hysterical. <laughs> really hysterical. <laughs> no, I'll be able to express myself in a week. Cher is my good friend. You go, Cher, your mother died. Uh-huh. <laughs> don't you care? I'm crying. I'm, I'm crying. crying. <laughs> I'm inside, I'm weeping. <laughs> But no, the thing is, every, but everyone's had plastic surgery now. And there's a story in the news here this week that um, apparently uh, a new trend for senior citizens to spend their pensions on breast lifts and, and tummy tucks. Vagina tops. lifts. Vagina lifts. Oh, it'd be so wonderful. We've done them on my show. S see? Vagina yeah. lifts. While you were there. Well, no, no, I, I, no. But, you know, because if your mother's... There are all these women in the front row. Did your mothers, any of your mothers ever tell you have a, your vagina's going to drop? No, no, mothers don't say this. My mother told me that. <laughs> I'm still waiting. <laughs> I'm very excited. <laughs> <laughs> they should say to you, it's going to be all right because when you have a hot flash, you can wipe your forehead with your vagina. And make it positive. Make it positive. That's a visual, isn't it? Those are pretty funny. These young women in the front row clapping and laughing because they don't believe you. <laughs>